Lupe Fiasco has entered the conversation and said he will battle any rapper at any time and walk through them. After making this statement, do you guys think that Lupe Fiasco is one of the greatest rappers, lyricists, artists of all time? He does have a lot of good discography, but at the same time, he's been kind of dormant as well, and now he pops out when Kendrick and Drake are going at it and has his opinions, which we can respect that because everybody has their opinions and the way that they want to approach situations. But he said Kendrick is a great performer, great mind, and good for the culture. But he also said, like, I love him to death. I do not think that he's like this amazing lyricist, though. Mm -hmm. And if I had to put a top 100 of lists together... Kendrick, is Kendrick not making your top 100, man. So if it was a list of, like, top 100s, like, if I had a top 100 list, the first 60 slots would be niggas that ain't in the mainstream that niggas don't even know. Not in his top 60 of 100 lyrical rappers in his opinion. Do you guys think that Kendrick is not in the top 60 of 100 lyrical rappers? That's kind of asinine to me. Lupe also stated that Kendrick is better technically skilled, but doesn't think he is a better rapper than Drake and isn't a dangerous rapper. He doesn't feel threatened by him when he does a verse. Which I get it, you know, street stuff, we're not talking about that. But he does not feel like his verses are that dangerous that somebody has to be like, okay, you know what, I'm not responding. I, I don't know how to feel about this because, like I said, I respect Lupe. I used to listen to his albums back in the day. You know, he's a very good artist, very good lyricist. But to sit here and say that Kendrick is not a better rapper, the key word, rapper, not artist, not hip-hop head, rapper, than Drake. I, I got to disregard that opinion because that just don't even make sense to me. He also said that the control verse was just I. But this is hip hop and them niggas should know what time it is. And that goes for Jamaica, Big Crit, Wale, Pusha T, Meek Mills, ASAP Rocky, Drake. Which, you know, everybody has their opinions on that. And I think because it was so abrasive and the way that it caught people off guard, how he came at all the other artists in the industry at that time, that's what made the impact. And it was a great song. I liked how he delivered it. And also, same thing with Like That. The way that he came off on Like That and saying F the big three and that there isn't a big three, it's just him, that's also what made it a great song. So, should we be mad at him for, you know, putting the energy and the effort into the song to make people gravitate towards the song? Because the fans like the song. Of course, there are certain people that don't rock with it, but hey, who cares? It is what it is. You know what else actually surprised me, guys? Is that the game posted on his Instagram, Drake's Energy song playing in the background. I got enemies, got a lot of enemies, got a lot of people trying to drain me of this energy, trying to take away from a nigga, fucking with the kid and pray for your nigga. I got people. Game is a known West Coast heavyweight that has relationships with both artists and was there on stage when Kendrick was passed the torch by Snoop and Dr. Dre. I'm going to say this and I'm going to mean this. Nigga, you got the torch, nigga. You better run with this. And others. Is he choosing Drake's side in this beef? That would throw the whole West Coast balance off. To be so pro West Coast, does he really think that Drake is a better artist, rapper, performer than Kendrick K. Dot? Compton's own? I'm curious to where this goes because Game is a battle rapper and known for dropping diss tracks. This could get wild because Kendrick and Game are both from Compton as well. So to see that there's two Compton heavyweights in the same division and you are openly backing Drake by putting up an Instagram post that you know there's going to cause controversy. If Game gets in the mix and... Mi if Game gets in the mix and starts throwing diss tracks at Kendrick, man, this could get ugly fast. But I just don't see how that could happen because Top Dog, TDE, WAC 100, those guys, they all are together. They're all cool. So Game has to be trolling in this situation, right? Because I, I just don't see how else this could go. But, hey, I'm all for it. If this is lyrical discourse between everybody and everybody's getting active, let's get active. The more discourse, the better. Keep it on wax and let's get it going. So what do you guys think about it? Do you feel like this situation is going the way it should? Do you feel like it's overboiling? Do you feel like we're going to get a lot of great music from a lot of different artists? Because we've had so many different artists chime into this situation. We've got the known ones like the Futures, the Drakes, the J. Coles, the Kendricks, uh, Chris Browns, the Quavos. We got the Rick Rosses. We have... Uh, finesse two times and NBA young boy and now we got game and Lupe it's so many people that are adding into this competitive spirit now so I I got a feeling that 
really these guys have to have been plotting this or that they're all coming together to go at each other and start getting this game really flowing because they really feel like hip hop has been stagnant. That's the only answer I could think of there because this is wild. We've never seen so many artists throw their, their, their name in the hat all at one time. Thanks Splashers for watching. Catch you on the next episode. Stay tuned for the latest updates of whatever happens next. Movie reviews, pop culture, music, all the things that you could be entertained by. Catch you guys on the next one.